so this lower fan is on and I noticed maybe this is a little nitpicky maybe it doesn't matter but um, I noticed that these curl back over and point back inside right here I was thinking about just cutting them off so it wouldn't block the airflow coming out or potentially cause a disruption in the airflow I mean there's enough disruption with the screen and uh, the inefficiency of the seal around the outside here Okay, so instead of bending these out from the inside here and trying to straighten them out, I'm just flattening it. It's just easier than trying to reach up inside there and pull it out. Um, and I have a nice smooth edge on the inside there now, so. Oh, the airflow's 100 times better. I don't know. I don't know if it's better or not, but you can see that they're crimped now. This one, this top one, had this huge, um, had this huge uh, lip there. Right now, the temperature at the plant level is 86. Beautiful fall day, 80 degrees outside. The solar fan is running, full blast. It's 1 p.m., so it should be pretty hot in here if the fan wasn't running. And um, I still have that Harbor Freight 120 volt fan up there, but you can see it's not plugged in. So, 93 degrees. Yeah, cool air is just pouring in here nicely. Good, that's working. 93 in here, so it's hot enough to have that vent open as well. It's probably pulling some air in up, up there too. The plants are growing. They seem to be happy. They're all leaning toward the sun. Okay, so tried to wire in two of these fans in a 100 watt solar panel. I know they're both 80 watts, but I was hoping they would run a little bit better than they are. You can just kind of listen to the pitch. They're both running right now on the fan. I do have this um, converter that's bumping everything down to 12 volts right here. Hopefully that's coming out of the camera. And um, just listen, I'm gonna disconnect the lower fan. That's moving a lot of air. Together, I bet they're moving about the same amount of air. So what I'm gonna do is bypass this, see if I can just direct drive two of these from that solar panel and get more of a sound like this one out of both of them. All right, let's see. Okay, so now we've got both fans direct drive. You can see them wired there to the solar panel wires that are right here, and they're just wired directly. And they're made for this. This is all bypassed right here. This see converter as you can see so they still don't sound very powerful let's unplug the bottom one and see that's a big difference Okay, so I need another solar panel. Temps are better. 91 right now. That high 97, I don't know, must have been yesterday. So, a uh, couple changes here. Solar panel from the first video, put the fan right there, and it was working well. I ended up cutting another hole, putting louvers on the outside. Um, move the fan from there to there just because of the heat that's collecting up higher. I wanted to be able to get it out sooner. 
so there wasn't this big bubble of heat sitting up in the ceiling here. Okay, and then that was working well. And then I read somebody, I just love YouTube and the community and the people that put their stuff on here. Because even though a lot of videos I watch, I don't learn a ton from, but some of them I'm just like, that's, I never thought of that. And one of the, somebody in one of their videos had said, it's better to push cold air in than try to pull hot air out because hot air is less dense and cold air is more dense. So I moved the wires. I just ran some 14 Romex down here. This is the cooling tube, which if you've been watching my prior videos, you'll recognize it. Um, 20 feet long. Kind of the outside there. And I just put this fan here. And so I'm pulling cool air in here now. It feels like an air conditioner right here. It's not like cold, cold, but it's much cooler than the ambient temperature here. So that seems to be working well. So I've, I've dropped my temperatures that were running over 100 um, for a high. I mean, for average, I would walk out here pretty much any time of the day, 11 till 5 p.m., and it would be over 100. So right now it's running, um, it says 91. So here we are back by the cooling tube on the outside. I just, I'm glad I have that little screen on there. Although this little snake right here, he might be small enough to crawl through there. What are you doing? It's going to get cold in a couple days. You better get in some place deep. It's going to be nice and warm. So, yeah, it's going to hit minus four. So, uh, it's just going to be for one morning. It's not going to be like a sustained freeze. Uh, it'll be freezing probably most of the day, if not all day. But that'll be a pretty heavy freeze just for a few hours. Um, these tanks are about half full. So, right about that part of the dirt right there is about where the water level is. So I'm not worried about these freezing. I might bring the tractor around and pile up some more dirt around just to be safe. I don't want those things to freeze and crack. But uh, I just want to show you this. This is kind of cool how much air this is. This fan is supposed to move like 1,200 or 1,300 CFM. And, um, well, the wind's blowing it off, isn't it? So it will hold stuff there. The wind's wrecking me. So this is a 12 inch tube, it's 12, yeah it's about 12, maybe 13, 9, yeah about 12 or 13, and so it's pretty powerful, it's doing the job, it's pulling a lot of air through here. Okay, so we have 20 feet of culvert from there in. And I got another 20 feet today. I'm hooking it up with this coupler, this uh, culvert coupler, or band, they call it, culvert band. And thank you, Glenn, for telling me about that, because um, I was going to put them together and weld them together, because I didn't even know about these. I mean, I kind of knew about them, but Glenn was like, why don't you just get a coupler? And so that'll be great, because it'll hold it nice and solid. Um, I won't have to worry about the welds rusting, and... Uh, it's not going to make a great seal, but I'm not too worried about the seal. Um, the dirt's going to seal it, and even if the little dirt falls inside, big deal. No big deal. So this is 40 feet. Right now the solar fan's on the inside, and it's running, and... Okay, I can feel the airflow, but, of course, this is more resistance. I don't know how long I'm going to make this. Obviously, I'm not going to make my dirt bank all the way back here. I want to cover up all the metal I can, though. And um, so... I'll end up piling dirt, bringing it on both sides here, piling it, piling it, piling it, and then um, we'll just see how far back it comes, and then I'll just cut it off wherever I need to. Um, I'm not super excited about that, but I do have some long sawzall blades. Uh, it's going to be hard to get a square cut. Uh, my portable bandsaw isn't that big, so I'll probably just try to draw like a straight line around it as best I can, and then just cut it with a cutoff wheel or maybe the um, sawzall with a metal cutting blade. <sighs> yeah. Okay, let's get it tightened down. I'll have to get a little bit deeper socket just to make sure we get this nice and tight, but that should do it. Then I'll move the screen back down to the end to put the screen on this end for now until I get all done with my um, burying back here. Okay, good.